Good evening from Lanzarote. Breaking news. Well, we've got a power cut. Is it the end of the world? Well, you know, Mr. Travelon, I love a conspiracy theory. I would like to tell you that it is, but it sometimes happens now and again. However, we've been off for about 30 minutes, so I thought I'd come downtown. Well, I thought I'd make a quick exit from the house because Mrs. Travelon started to light candles and I think she thought things were going to get romantic. So I've come downtown to show you what a power cut looks like in Lanzarote. Let's go. Look, oh, these, lo God. these lovely people are coming down the stairs here. <laughs> There's no light. And you're on, you're on holiday, what do we do? It's the end of the world. Can I still get garlic prawns? You probably can somewhere. Hopefully. Are you having a lovely holiday? Yes. Apart from I'm the power cut. Only just arrived. Oh, well, there you go. You've oh. just arrived and we've got no light. I'm sure it'll be fine. You be careful of these steps. Okay, right, we're gonna come down here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, here we go, look. So look at this. We can see the sun setting here, so this is where it gets a bit dodge. Because it was okay a minute ago. But look, all the restaurants are completely blacked out. But the menu's still lit up. That must be on solar panels or something, or a battery. <laughs> but everyone's got their phones out. Everyone's got their phones out. I can't see an actual thing here. I put my glasses on, look. So loads of people outside Tifico Canario, look, and Jumbo. No one knows what to do. Everyone's bumping into each other. Wow, look at this. Well, this is, this is uh, quite a new one. Things have got a little bit of light, look. They're enjoying a little meal. You're all right, aren't you, look? You're adapting, you're adapting. <laughs> and these, look, over here. We're having a look. Oh, this is trouble. Uh, how are you? You all right? Not bad. not bad. How are you doing? Well, apart from, uh, apart from there being no electricity, <laughs> we don't know what to do in our house. We're all... Mrs. Mrs. Travelon started lighting candles. I thought I'm getting out of here quick. <laughs> getting out. I thought I'd come down here. So you're, you're all right, apart from there being no light. Yeah, it's amazing. You'll be all right. It, it sometimes happens now and again. Every year, I cannot see a bloody thing. <laughs> The waiter was a bit angry then, wasn't he? It's one of them things. I mean, if he's going to get complaints, I suppose it's going to be a lot, loss of uh, a loss of money for quite a few of them. Everyone's panicking. People have got their phones out. Oh, people have got their phones out. That's the best thing to do. Get the lights on with your phone. You're rocking and rolling. But everything, everything is full as well. <laughs> So this is what you need to do. You need to get the phone with your torch. And uh, it's like Halloween down here. It's ever so exciting. Hopefully it doesn't go on for too long. I mean, to be honest, it's been about half an hour already. Usually it's back on by now, but it's pitch black down here. Very scary when you think what the world would be like if they did unplug the power. Wow, well, we're gonna keep you posted. We're gonna head a little bit further down here. Let's see where we are, look. Still walking down, can't see much. It's more the street lights being off that makes such a massive difference down here. But it just gives you the idea of what, wow, what it would be like if it all went off for real. And they say that that's how it's gonna happen, don't they? But no, like I said before, every year around this time, there is a power cut. I think they reset something. It's always around this time of the year. And I reckon they reset something and then it comes back on, but we shall see what happens. Brisas Marinas Rambler. People with their mobiles. <laughs> there was a few hotels. Now, me and Jack drove down. The Elba Hotel was all lit up, so they must have a generator. And some of the other hotels were lit up, um, sort of towards Marina Ruby Conway. They were lit up as well. You'd be gutted if you'd ordered, wouldn't you? You would be gutted if you ordered. But many people are just adapting, really. They've got their phone on, look. They're eating a paella. <laughs> I'd still be scuffing. I would still be scuffing. So I'm back on this Halloween night in Lanzarote. Uh, trying not to uh, bump into anybody as we walk down here. But it is the whole of Playa Blanca. 
Fuerteventura looks okay. I can see over to Fuerteventura, they've got power. Um, so let's just head into town this way and then we'll come back down and we'll see if it's any sort of brighter up here. Should be lots of people up here and lots of cars which might light it up a little bit. But no one knows what to do. People are waiting for taxis. People are just sort of standing around <laughs> wondering what's going on. But like I said, it's not usually this long that it's gone off for. Hmm. So here we go, look. It's a little bit lighter here because the cars are sort of uh, lighting up the street. And people are sort of grabbing a taxi around here and thinking, well, we may as well head home. The old mill. Don't know if there'll be anybody in there. Should we go and have a look? No, they've closed. <laughs> they've closed the doors. Everyone's given up. Wow. And the sad thing is, I was going to go live, but what's quite unusual is, usually with a power cut, you get your 3G and your 4G, and, uh, well, we haven't got that either. So I can't even go live. Although, we could give it a try, couldn't we? Lots of people here waiting for a taxi. Bloody hell, it's a massive taxi queue. Wow. Here you go, look. Big old taxi queue. And I've just seen somebody from the, the water company's just turned off. Don't worry about the taxi. <laughs> somebody from the water company's just turned off. He's no help, is he? Bloody hell. Hello, how are you? You all right? Thank you, how are you? Well, apart from not having any lights. I know. We don't know what to do with ourselves. I thought I'd come down and see what's going on. It, it, it sometimes goes off, but it's usually on by now. <laughs> there, was a big, there was a big outage in there, pushed out Carmen a few months ago. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It should be all right, don't worry. Have a good evening. See you later. Bye, bye. Right, come on. He's looking in a box, look. He's looking at the electric box to see what's going on. We're all right. A man with a yellow jacket's turned up. We should, we should be back on soon. It's always a man to save the day. The ladies in Sasha are happy, look. They've got nothing to do. Hola, buenas. <laughs> Do we in? <laughs> wow. You have a little a little bit of light. Yes. The emergency lights. <laughs> um, <laughs> exactly. There you go, you can still get yourself some perfume. They've got emergency lights on. Tills won't be working though. There you go, look. Wonder if the alarms are off, look, Santos Jewelers. Wonder if the alarms are off. <laughs> oh they've took all the They've took all the watches out the window. <laughs> so here we go, we're outside the uh, Asia player blanket here. That's in darkness, complete darkness. Even the arcade look. Now we usually get the light here with the arcade with all the flashing lights, don't we? Wow, looks so different. It looks so different with no, no, sort of street lights or anything but as you can see look over that way there you go look it looks like the Vulcan hotel over there look has got light and some of Marina Rubicon as well hmm that's interesting maybe we'll head that way and see if they've got light down there there you go look Puerto Marineros there look They've got some kind of emergency light in there, so that doesn't look too dark. That doesn't look too bad, does it? There's a little bit of light going on. Not much, though. People are still wondering what the hell is going on. I've lost Jack. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. Come on, Jack, let's go this way. Wow, so it's still off. It's been about 45 minutes, nearly an hour now. And I can't see a thing when this light's pointing at me, so I'm just going to stand here. Um, but there are people like bumping into each other. Um, and like I said, we just didn't know what to do with ourselves. Alf is pacing the house because his internet's off and his PlayStation's off. And I said to Jack, I said, well, should we just go down and see what's going on? He went, oh, we may as well. Nothing else to do, is there? No, there isn't. Not without power. Right, come on, we'll see what else we can find. Right, I'm going to use my uh, phone as a torch to guide me because it is getting a little bit dodged down here now. Bumping into people. <laughs> Everyone's got the same idea. People are still enjoying their sangria, look. People are still enjoying their sangria. Puerto Blanco, look. 
few people still in there. It's quite calm though. Now I wouldn't expect panic, it's only a power cut, but you'd expect a little bit more hustle and bustle, wouldn't you? Everyone's just sort of sitting there wondering what the hell's going on. 20%. Right then, there you go, look, there you go. I was just speaking to one of the restaurants here, Gondola, and he said a few people have uh, scarpered without paying the bill, so he's a bit pissed off. <laughs> and somebody there just said, well, we'll have 20% discount. I don't know, would you ask for a discount? I mean, it's not their fault, is it? It's not the restaurant's fault. If you've eaten and, drink, eat, eaten and drank, I think you should be paying the bill, no? Let me know in the comments, what would you? Would you expect a, a discount, even though it's not their fault? I mean, if it was their fault and all the other restaurants were on, yes, maybe, but not when the whole island's down. What do you reckon? Answers on a postcard, let me know in the comments. There we go, look, people are still talking into their Chinese there. Hello, you right? <laughs> Wow. Well, this is definitely a new one for me. This is definitely a new one for me. And I was just speaking to the guy there at one of the restaurants and um, he said it's been about just, just, just shy of an hour now. Um, and he said it's never happened. He said many years ago it happened, but it's never happened this long. But look, there's a few people in Isla or Bonita. Look, they've got all their lights on. They're enjoying themselves. People are just cracking on. So you can see right in the distance there, look, that's the Iberia Star Hotel. So that's all lit up. So the hotels, well, have they got generators or is it the solar power, power kicking in? Because I noticed all of the houses are off when we drove down, even the ones with solar panels. So I don't know, is there any solar panel experts on there? Surely, if you've got solar power, does it not build a backup of, of electricity so, you, so it doesn't trip out. I don't know how it all works. I'm not an electrician. Neither am I a solar, solar panel person either. But I don't know what we're gonna do now. Jack keeps telling me, I keep saying, where should we go? And he said, well, you've got to wait until it actually comes back on. So we could be here for all night, Jack. What do you reckon? We're gonna sleep on the beach. <laughs> we're gonna sleep on the beach. He's just handed him a, a handwritten receipt because the till's not working. He's on back on pen and paper. Oh my God. I knew Mama Rose's would have some kind of, not backup, but the emergency lights look. So it's not too bad in there and it's quite a bright place anyway, look. So Mama Rose's is not doing too bad. At least they've got a little bit of light. We're going back. Well, yeah, I suppose so. Or should we walk to that hotel that's all lit up? All right, it's miles away. But look, the whole of Marina Rubicon's lit up, or is that all the hotels? I mean, you can, is that the whole of Marina Rubicon? Right, I reckon we should go that way then and have a little look. So, news just in, I just spoke to Mrs. Travelon. She's been on to everybody. Who's got power, who hasn't? Apparently power over there in Marina Rubicon, in that sort of area in Playa Blanca is on. Now, I'm not sure in Puerto del Carmen or the rest, so I'm gonna find out if it's just in Playa Blanca. Well, we're gonna to head towards Marina Rubicon just to see what's going on down there um, because there are lights in that way. So we're gonna follow the lights. So we don't know what else to do. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> the street lights are back on. <laughs> the street lights are back on. <laughs> The street lights are back on, but the restaurants are not back on. But at least we've got some light. <laughs> there you go, look. We're back, sort of. <laughs> look, so we've now got street lights. The air braiders are back, look. I'll tell you what, they don't miss a trick, these lot. Straight back on the hair braiding. They crack me up. They crack me up. They're like that, sit down, we'll carry on. Unbelievable. So the street lights are back on, but the restaurants and the shops are still off. So we're gonna crack on and see how long it takes for the restaurants to switch back on. There you go. Oh, but hang on a minute, news just in. I think they've nicked the power from over at the Marina look, because Marina Rubicon is now in darkness. So have they shifted the power from Marina Rubicon? <laughs> up here and now in this area here look in this area here is off so it's not back on and now marina rubicon's off 
I don't know what's going on. Look at that queue for that taxis up there. That's madness. That is madness, look. So this half of the strip is back on. And it's looking like this half is still off. And Marina Rubicon looks like it's off now, Jack. <laughs> They're happy, everyone's happy in Breezes Marinas. Surprised they haven't set the fireworks off to light the sky up. Look, they're ordering. They're ordering. No worries there. They've got a torch. He's got a. He's got one of them uh, light up books, whatever they're called. Everyone's pr everyone's pretty chill down in this area, even though it's all off. So there's a little view of half of the strip lit up, and the rest in darkness. First time I've seen that. Wonder if it was that man with the yellow, the yellow jacket that fixed that half a town, because he was fiddling with a box in that area. <laughs> so the guy in Vulcan, the Tim of Fire, is just going around uh, giving people shots. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. It's like, give him, give him a few free shots, we'll be all right. Everything will be fine. Get them drunk, get them drunk. They'll be, they'll be absolutely perfect. And it's still as busy down here as well. So we're going to head in this direction and see what else we can find, but all in all, a little bit chaotic, if I'm honest with you. Right then, people are cheering behind us, but Marina Rubicon didn't go out of power, by the way. I just, uh, I just came to a point where I couldn't see it. But there's Marina Rubicon, look, that's all lit up. So we're going to head in that direction, see what's going on. Right then, Jack said he ain't walking. He refuses to walk, but he has been at work all day, so he is shattered. Um, so we're going to jump in the car, take you on a little drive-by. We'll head towards Marina Rubicon and have a little look around there. And then, well, we ain't going back until these lights come on. Because, like I said, Mrs. Travel On has got the candles on. I'm staying well away, well away. So no sooner had we left the strip look, everything has come back on. We're just going to bowl straight back down now and see the festivities. Come on, look. Oh, it's gone again. <laughs> it's gone again. Oh no, we thought it had come back on. So that was a bit of a false alarm. Everything went on, everybody cheered, and then it all went off again. So I think the best thing for us to do is to head back down to the main front, if we can see where we're going, and just uh, wait until it comes back on again. I don't think it'll be too long now. So we're going to plonk ourselves on this wall just outside Jumbo and Tipico Canario. And uh, well, we're going to wait. It is now, time-wise, 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. Let's see when it comes back on. We better keep it ready. So Jack keeps doing a countdown, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1. And uh, well, we're 15 minutes in, it hasn't come back on yet. But it is a, uh, well, I do feel for the, uh, for the bars and restaurants, obviously they're going to lose a lot of money tonight. A lot of money. Because they were ramoed. And it's peak season as well. Like I said, this sometimes happens. I know in Puerto del Carmen it happened uh, a couple of times. Always around this time of year, just before summer or just as summer, summer hits. I think there's like an overload and they sort of reset something. But usually, I mean, you're out for about 10, 15 minutes max. It's now been nearly an hour and a half. So it's really not good. And of course, all these bars and restaurants have got food in the fridges as well. So I'm hoping they've got some kind of backup generator um, to keep things, uh, think things cool. I'm sure they've got everything in place. No one's flapping too much anyway, but we shall wait. So I keep hearing cheering up there. So either somebody's got um, one of the bars entertained. <laughs> There's a lot of happy people up that way. I keep hearing random cheers. I mean, they have got a little bit of street lights in that direction, but look, everyone else is there with their mobile phones, with their torches, and just wandering around. My gosh. And there's the fun groovy, look, the new fun groovy. Right, and Jack wants to jinx it and go back to the car again. He said, come on, let's go back to the car and then drive down towards the Marina Rubicon where there is lights. Because last time we did that, the lights bloody came on. But I will say one thing. With all the lights off, I tell you what, you look in the sky. I can't show you on the camera because you just won't see it, but you look in the sky and the stars look absolutely incredible when the sort of light, the, the, the fake light, 
goes and you look up in the sky, it's beautiful. And a good place to go and see the stars is in Papagayo. If you can ever get down to Papagayo on an evening, uh, you have to walk at the back of Sandos Papagayo. I think I've done a video on YouTube about it. Walk from the back of Sandos Papagayo over to Papagayo beaches in the pitch black. Look up and you will be blown away. Some of the best stargazing you'll ever see. Well, second to Tady. I mean, if you can get up Mount Tady, that is the best. Right, what are we doing then, Jack? We're going to the car. We're going to the car. If them lights turn on again and you've jinxed it, he's exhausted. Okay, is it a false alarm? We've got one restaurant on. The Vulcan, the Tim and Fire. That seems to be the only one. Oh, and this bizarre souvenir shop, the tat shops. The tat shop's back on. <laughs> the tat shop's back on. Vulcan, the Tim and Fire's back on. How odd is that, that only two restaurants are back on? But it's looking like they're getting there. Very strange. Why are they, are they oh, and the gallery, yeah? and here we go. Conti, ice cream, he's back on. Now all we got is the typical Canario. It seems to be one at a time from this area here. <laughs> oh, that's odd, isn't it? And the tat shot look. I knew they'd have the bloody backup generator going. <laughs> they don't miss a trick. There you go, look, let's go and have a little look at Vulcan, the Tim and Fire, and hopefully everything else will come back on in a second. There you go, this area here, look, the Galleria. Look how beautiful it all looks now that it's lit up. What a difference. What a difference. Look, even the TV's back on, look in there. Everyone's happy, look. Everyone's happy. Up there, look, it's beautiful. But still, a lot more off. There you go, I just heard a little cheer there from Tipico Canarias, look, and Jumbo. Let's go and have a little look. They're all back on as well. So everyone in this area is back on. Seem to be switching on one at a time. Maybe not to overload things. But these were the busiest. Maybe they've looked and said, well, these ones are the busiest. We get, better get these back on. TV straight on, look. That's all run, run on the internet, look. They've had um, the chap, he's getting a lot of food out of the, of the barbecue. Oh, really? Yeah. He's, oh, he's, wow. He's, he's, he's serving out a lot of food. Oh, fantastic. Brilliant. Oh, yeah, they've, they've got all their food, yeah, look. Yeah, we, we, we had our... They're cooking on the rocks, aren't they? They're cooking on the rocks. Great, they're doing a great job. Oh, brilliant. Well, as long as, as, long as everyone's happy, they've done their best, haven't they? They've done their best, yeah. Fantastic. There you go. They're back, back, back to business now. Great stuff. So there you go, uh, Tipico Canario. Um, they were whacking quite a bit out on the barbecue. Um, so that was sort of rescued quite a few people's, uh, people's dinner because they had the barbecue going with the hot coals. Of course, you don't need electricity for that, do you? Improvisation. But let's see if the other side comes back on. Come on. Right then, so the other side's still definitely off. Vulcan the Tim and Fire, Jumbo Canarius, the Ice Cream Shop, the Galleria, and in this area, a back to business. So we are now going to jump in the car and just go for a little drive and have a look what's going on down towards Marina Rubicon area. By the La Salle, see if that's on, and we'll see what's going on. But a massive well done for these guys for uh, to getting through that. I mean, it must have been stressful for the waiters and the, uh, and the chefs and stuff just worrying about people sort of sitting there, not being able to eat and stuff. But look, everyone looks happy, don't they? And we've got stories to tell. So let's get in the car and I'll take you on a little drive and see what else we can see in town, come on. So in the main town, it seems to be again, only a couple of places that have got power. La Rustica, the rest is, uh, is off. The bank's got a bit of power and the cappuccino is all lit up. But let's get in the car. Right then, so Jack's going to film out the window. I'm going to drive down towards Marina Rubicon. As I said, the street lights are out, so it's quite difficult to drive, to be honest. Um, and let's see what's on and what's off. And we'll get as far as Marina Rubicon, which I think is all on. So Papagayo Centre's on. It looks like everything in there is looking all lit up and all the bars and restaurants through there. So it could just have been down on the front area um, and up towards sort of the Elba Hotel. But like I said, as we drove down, the Elba Hotel was, uh, was all lit up, but the club player Blanca Hotel 
that was off. Princess Yiza, I'd expect nothing less than the Princess Yiza to have a backup plan. <laughs> the five star guests of the Princess Yiza, they couldn't cope without the power on. So that's all lit up, look. Even the trees illuminated at the five star Princess Yiza. No mess in there. So it could just have been sort of this area, because like I said, when we were down there and looking towards Marina Rubicon, it did look like this area was all lit up. Dreams as well, look. The Dreams Hotel, that's all lit up. Looks absolutely beautiful. And then the street lights are sort of, yeah, the street lights are on here. See, so we are the Barcelo Playa Blanca, the biggest hotel in Lanzarote, literally. Brand spanking new and uh, all lit up, all lit up, as well as the houses and that in this area, I think anyway. Well, the street lights are, but I don't know if the houses are actually lit up. It seems very sporadic what's on and what's off. But there you go, look, Barcelo Player Blanca illuminated. Looks beautiful. There's that big reception area, look. Absolutely stunning look at that. <laughs> no problem there with the power. So let's head down to Marina Rubicon and see what's going on. And then we'll call it a night and try and get this uploaded if our internet comes back on. She'll have to message Mrs. Travel on, see if she's blown the candles out yet. Right, we're pulling up to Marina Rubicon. Let's go. So here we are at the La Salle. And you can see the lights are on, proper illuminated. So we're going to have a little look at the restaurants here, see if they've been affected at all. And then better get back to Mrs. Travelon, hadn't I? She'll be worried. <laughs> so there you go. Look, Fun Groovy's opened a little bit later. That's usually closed by 10, I think. I think the shops usually close about 10 down here. And obviously the bars and restaurants stay open a little bit later. But I can see a heap of Dino, Jack. Must be closed. Yeah, it's closed. So we're gonna go and have a little look at La Gangnan and Namaste in La Salle. I don't think they've had any type of blackout, but we will go and ask and see if it affected this area. And it's beautiful down here, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Such a great addition to Lanzarote and Playa Blanca. And there's no power outage with that light is that gorgeous right and it looks busy come on so it's looking super super busy down here absolutely ramoed still and it's what it's 10 30 at night the gang now rushing around look getting everybody's food fabulous chinese restaurant this one absolutely brilliant we'll go and see jimmy in namaste and find out if he had a power cut at the Namaste and the Roma. Again, two amazing restaurants, look. Very busy. Good evening, Jimmy. Good evening, Did you have a power cut? Did you have the power cut? The whole of Playa Blanca is in darkness. No, in Trevisano, Faro Park, still no electricity. Ah, so that area, yeah, up towards Faro Park. But here, here... Yeah, nearly 20, 25 minutes. Oh, 25 minutes, so you did have a little power cut. There you go, look. But the Trevisano still without electricity. So up in Faro Park area, still still nothing? Well, look, everybody's happy here, look, at Namaste. They've all got power and they've all got Indian food. I mean, you, you couldn't be more happy than that. Oh, so Jimmy has given us a bottle of posh water, because I tell you what, none of the shops were open. Oh, I've got a bottle of posh. Oh, right. We're going to have a little look here. We've got my main man here. Look, my main man here. These guys have all got it all under control. So 25 minutes it was out here, which is not a major thing, is it? But downtown, terrible. Terrible. And I think it's still off. How are you? I'm fine. Has he been looking for me? He's in there. I'll wait for him. Don't worry. Are you having a good holiday? Yeah, look. Were you in the power cut up there? The whole of Playa Blanca's in darkness? Well, we went to the Chinese because of you. <laughs> oh, did you? There yeah. you go. Did you enjoy it? It was lovely, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, well, all of that side of town's in darkness Still. for an hour and a half. Oh, really? So that's why we've come out to do a video. <laughs> but you haven't, you haven't experienced it, have you? You've been here in, yeah, the, in the light. Did it go off? Yeah, it did go off. Only for a bit, though? Yeah. Perfect. 
great stuff. Where's he in there? Yeah, come on. Here. You show me where he is. I'll come and say hello to him. And then we've got to get back. Which one is he? The big one. In the, in the black shirt? Yeah. Trevor. Trevor, you're getting some gelato? <laughs> How are you, mate? Yeah, are you? Nice to meet you. You're right. Yeah. She said you. She, she said you've been looking for me, uh, and I'm never usually out at this night. No, well, there was a big power cut in town, so I've come down to oh, film okay. it. And uh, she said you went for the Chinese. Was it nice? Lovely. Huh? Oh, fantastic. Where are you from? We're from we're Newcastle. Yeah. So we're in the middle of fantastic. And you're having a good holiday. Yeah. Where are you stopping? Oh, right. Fantastic. Pleasure to meet you, mate. Look at them guns, man. Look at them guns. Get that ice cream down, you look. Hello, my darling. How are you? She's the best she is. She'll sort you out. Lovely to meet you. All right. You'll be on YouTube later on tonight, as soon as the internet comes back on. <laughs> See you later. Bye, bye. Lovely family from Newcastle there. I do enjoy it. And there should be quite a few people in here as well. This is their Roma Italia look. So the guys in Roma all working hard, look in the kitchen. There's no stopping them here. No stopping them, look. Hello, how are you? You all right? Yeah. Like, is she my, are you my biggest fan, are you? Nice to meet Where are you from? Do you? Lovely to meet you. I haven't brought anything with me. Everything's in the car. There's a big power cut down there. But it was only about 25 minutes here, I think. Down there, still, still off. So, yeah, still off. It's been about an hour and a half. So you're all right. Are you enjoying your Italian? Fantastic. What's your name? Paul. Paul, lovely to meet you, Paul. Meet you too. Message me and say it's Paul from Roma and I'll pop you a little sticker in the post, all right? Lovely to meet you. See you later, guys. Enjoy the rest of your meal. Bye, bye, bye. So there you go. Power cut in Player Blanca. Mr. Travelon, bring it to you live and unleashed. Now I've just got to get home and wait until the internet comes back on. Hopefully, Mrs. Travelon's fallen asleep and I'll be safe from the clutches of the romantic candle lit night. So come on, let's get back. I'll see you later in the next video. Make sure to like, follow and subscribe. Keep smiling and even though there's a power cut, well, we had a little fun, didn't we? See you later.